Hello and welcome to this project. This is a take on my desire to design a mighty small wooden lamp that will be everything I need. An LED mood light with a regular bulb. So to start with this you need a lampshade. I got this nice one for 99 cents and it's meant for E14 sockets. Put it on the table and start measuring to find the size you want it to be. I figured out that for me a good approximate size will be 10 by 10 cm rectangle with 18 cm height. So I cut the necessary pieces right away using 100% repurposed MDF that I've had from old speakers. Later I will put cherry veneer to it so to have a wooden look. The parts are the following. Now for the electrical part I needed the following parts. A male IEC320, C14 or C7 plug and wire. A regular switch. Some sort of 12 volts DC power supply. A 4 step rotary switch. a couple of inches RGB LED strip and I want this thing to also have a regular bulb so I will add an E14 socket and an extra switch to the parts list. I also have all the necessary wiring for everything. So I put the box together with glue and I let it dry. I then smeared PVA wood glue and placed veneer and some edging tape one side at a time. I sanded the veneer smooth with 180 and 280 grit and put a few coats of water-based varnish
Next I did is some drilling to fit all the components inside. For the LED strip, I connected the three wires to three of the four steps of the rotary switch plus a negative wire to the switch's input. Connect the negative from the switch and the positive from the strip and this is going to look and work like this. For the E14 socket, two wires are going to the plug and a switch in series to the positive wire. For the 12 volts power supply, there are also two wires going to the plug with another switch in series. Please mind that my wiring is not secure and it's only for demonstration purposes. Use heat shrink wrap on all the switch connections and avoid this project if you have no experience with soldering and with electric power. The final circuit is the following. Don't forget to wire the switches after you run the wires through the hole. Putting it all inside the enclosure gives us this amazing result. That's all, thanks for watching, if you liked this video, don't forget to share it, comment, rate and subscribe to my channel.